On each of these examples, we are given the graph of the derivative of the function f prime of x, and that's very, very important to note. The graph of the derivative is given to us, and we're asked about some information about the original function f of x, not f prime of x. So remember, each and every one of these we are given the derivatives graph, all right, and asked about how many critical points does the original function have. Now a critical point is either going to occur whenever the derivative is equal to zero or it's undefined. All right, so in our case, because we have graphs in front of us, we want to figure out when is the derivative equal to zero. Well, what that boils down to in all of our cases is when the derivative equals zero, when our graph equals zero, that's when we get a y value of zero or we're thinking about x-intercepts. So basically counting up these x-intercepts as we go through these. So on this first one, and we're going to rapid fire go through four of these graphs, this is the graph of the derivative that's given to us, right? This is f prime. We want to say it's equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 places. We have three x-intercepts, so we're going to get three critical points on the original f of x's graph. On this function, remember, this is f prime's graph. We, we're looking for how many x-intercepts do we have, right? The derivative is equal to 0 at negative 2 and negative 1. So 2x-intercepts, 2 times the derivative equals 0. That means that our original graph is going to get two critical points. Those could be maximums or minimums, potentially, on its graph. All right, what about this? It looks like a line. A line, and remember, this is the derivatives graph. It's important to note that's the derivatives graph. Well, it has, looks like, one x-intercept. That means it has the derivative is equal to 0 one place. So the original function, f of x, not f prime of x, is going to get one critical value, critical point. One more example here. Again, f prime's graph, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x-intercepts. The derivative is equal to 0 five places on this. That means that our original function can have five critical points. All right, it's not that tough. You just need to know what you're looking for and what information is given to you. Remember, these were the derivative of the uh, the graphs of the derivative. So we want to figure out when does that derivative equal zero. That'll tell us about critical points on the original function. All right, hope this helps out. Just know what you're looking for. Not a tough question. Good luck.